Hi there, this is Rudhima Sharma from Boulevard Arts and today I'm going to make a simple tiny gift box with a cute little tag. Let's begin. So I am taking this floral printed sheet here but any design of your choice will work. We need 6 inches square to begin with and I will be trimming it down to 6 inches square with my Martha Stewart paper trimmer. This trim trimmer has a slide out paper guide to cut paper more than 5 inches in width. So here I am cutting the paper down. So here I have 6 inches by 6 inches and I will need two of these. You can use the same print for both lid and the base but here I will be using Lawn Ponds Watercolor Wishes paper for from its 6 by 6 paper pack which have beautiful watercolor prints and I will be using a sheet which matches with my printed paper. This one it looks pretty. So I'm taking this out from the back. This paper pack is really beautiful. So to make a gift box, I will be using Martha Stewart's scoring board, which is very easy to use and amazingly durable. I have a bone folder in this compartment and there is a guide on how to make boxes of different sizes. So I will make a box which will be 2 inches in length, width and depth. So you can here use any pattern for the lid or the box. You can keep the box simple and make the lid more eye catching. But here I will be keeping the box simple and use the pattern paper for the lid. To make the base of the box, we have to score it on the 2 inch line here and then 4 inch line. Then turning the paper at 90 degrees, I will be scoring it again at 2 inch and 4 inch line. This will give me a grid on the paper and now I am going to fold all these lines with my bone folder. So here I'm scoring all the lines. This is the base of the box. I will come back to this in a moment. Let's make the lid first. Now to make the lid, uh, I will be scoring the lid of the box at 2 inch line and 4 1 8 inch line. Remember here I am scoring 2 and 4 1 8 line. Again turning the paper at 90 degrees, scoring it at 2 inch line and 4 1 8 inch line. Now I will score all the lines with my bone folder again. So you have to remember for the box I scored 2 and 4 inch line and for the lid I scored 2 and 4 1 8 inch line. So both the papers are ready. So here we have both the paper, the lid and the base of the box. So now we are going to work with these two to make the box. To make the base of the box, we need to cut on the grid lines from here. So here we get four flaps which will become the base. To glue them together I am using my double sided tape 
which is quick and saves a lot of time so I am not using the liquid glue so I will be putting tape here 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 means all the four corners you can also use your liquid glue for this So after putting the tape, I like to press it down with my bone folder so that the tape holds the paper good and sturdy. This is a very important step in this. Make sure you press all the sides. So I am using my sharp cutter to pull off the cover of the tape. So you can use any sharp tool or your nails. So here you can see that I pulled off the cover from sheet from the tape exposing the glue and I will be gluing it together to make one side of the box and again folding it, applying some pressure from inside the box and gluing all the sides. Now I am applying a little bit more pressure from inside of the box with the bone folder to make sure all the sides are glued together. So finally here is the box. Now let's make the lid. So this lid is 6 by 6 inch square and this lid's length is same as that of the box. So I will be trimming down a half inch from all the sides, but if you want, you can keep it like this only, which will look perfectly fine. So let's trim a half inch from all the sides. So now after trimming all the edges, I am using Martha Stewart's Deco Shell Border Punch here to punch the sheet from all the four sides, giving it a beautiful look. So I am putting the paper inside the punch, aligning it with the pattern and punching all the way around. So all the scrap collects below the punch. This punch is really good and it folds nice into compact punch which can be stored easily. So here you can see, you can see the corners did not come so fine but I don't have to worry about it because this is not going to show from outside of the lid. So I am going to cut it in the same way I did for the base of the box. So again, we have four flaps here. Now you can see. Now I will not be using my double-sided tape as it's too big for it. Instead, I will be using liquid glue to join the pieces. So I'm applying the glue on all the four sides. And now I will be spreading in the glue with my little finger. So another thing I forgot to mention, we have to cut the design part from these flaps as those might show up in front. So I am trimming the designs off Now this flap can be covered and glued together like this. So 
So now I'm doing all the pieces together. Applying the pressure to make sure everything is good. So now I am trimming a little bit of the edges to give it a finished look. And here we are. We have our beautiful lid. So here is the lid and the box and both of them fit together perfectly. And here is the little tiny gift box. Look at the beauty. The color matches perfectly and floral pattern is just awesome. Now you can embellish it in different styles or tie a ribbon or paper twine around it. So here I'm using a paper twine in contrast with the box. You can pick up any color you want for the twine. That's totally up to you. So I'm tying the twine on the box. Cutting it out. So you can make bow out of this twine, but before doing that, I need to add a tag to this. So I already die cutted this cute little tiny label from the Lawn Fawn die cut set of three. You can use a small rectangle for the tag which will do just fine. So I'm punching a hole right here so that it can be inserted into the twine of the box. You can write your sentiment here. I am writing for you on this with my black pentil sign brush pen. And I'm really in love with this brush pen. Now to embellish the tag, I am using a glitter heart that I punched out of a glitter foam sheet. You can use any color here, but I will be using silver heart and gluing it with my liquid glue. Now you can decorate it in any way you like. And now the tag is ready. So I'm tying this to the box lid like this. So I'm making a bow here. So here you can see this beautiful gift box that you can make yourself and it is very easy and simple box. You can make it with or without the scoring board. That really doesn't matter. All you have to remember are measurements and where you have to score the lines. I hope you guys like the video and please give a thumbs up. I would love to know if you made one for yourself so comment below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. Thanks for watching.